Alice was looking very menacing because, you know, after she got taken away, she became a, 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 a integrity knight. But last episode, my god, how scared she was when trying to, you know, uh, climb up together with Kirito. All of those cute and funny slice of life elements suddenly brings Alice back to what I remember her in like the episode one or something, man. Alice truly is useless, except for fighting, huh? Very cute. Now, there's a bit of a conspiracy going on with why those gargoyles, these beings that can be only, only exist with dark arts, exist at this height of the central cathedral. Pontifex most likely also utilizes dark arts, and maybe we can use this to show that, hey, Alice, your faith towards the church is honestly misguided, and we're going to show you how evil, you know, the people are. Yu-Gi-Oh! What's he doing? Yuji met Berkeley. That's right. Oh, yo, could be Berkeley versus Yuji today. I don't know, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. The legendary hero, Broccoli. Do you think Yuji saw Berkeley's ass? Because he was in the bath naked, and now he. Hmm. Hmm. His sword. What the fuck? Is he a Jedi? Can you just do that? Can, can every in Integrity Knight do that? Holy shit. But remember, the blue rose sword was Berkeley's sword, but after the fight against the dragon, it got left there, right? And now he has a new sword. How is he going to react to the blue rose sword? I'm afraid Yuji was cooked. The sword, the sword. Oh, yeah. Right, because there was like drama between Fanatio and Berkeley with how Berkeley looked at Fanatio, and Fanatio was like, Oh, you think that I'm just a wham and I'm useless, but that was not the case, right? There's clearly some sort of love story there that got uh, miscommunicated. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice of him. Better in dying. He's saying, you know, just before we die, he'll stop, okay? The captain, knight captain. True. Mm. Well, probably Alice, because Alice called Berkeley Oji san, and you wouldn't refer to someone like that unless you were kind of close and you know has some sort of like training relations, right? Ah, uh, Eldry is Alice's apprentice. Okay, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means that, like, you know, it's like, it's like the grandfather. Because, like, it goes Berkeley, Alice, Eldry. Oh, okay. I don't even know if Alice is, you know, her, his apprentice anymore. I just thought that because of Oji's son or something. But Fanati was a direct apprentice. Ambiguous power scale in here. Is he being humble? Alice potentially could be Berkeley 1v1? Okay. Name mentioned again. The Senate is something that I haven't really understood yet, but they keep mentioning it. And I don't think the Pontifex is the prime senator. It's like different groups, right? He's not here. He's prime senate. Sorry, the he there is referring to Kirito, the partner, not prime senate. I am my own mentor. Berkeley toes! We know how to counter it. Wait. I think Yuji is gonna get cooked. Is he? I don't know. It's the combo attacks, right? It's like integrity and I suck against, for whatever reason, combo attacks we talked about a couple episodes ago. What? Why would the Dark Knights have the combo attacks? But the Integrity Knights are pretty, like, weak against it. Hmm. Interesting lore. Psst. 
But I still don't know why they can't fucking use the combo attacks, right? But for whatever reason, these Integrity Knights can't. And what are the Integrity Knights? They're simply memory wipes, um, characters that used to exist here. Not in the Dark Continent, but the people of the Dark Continent can use it. And who else can use it? Well, Kirito can use it. Meaning that the people, the Dark Knight people, some of the people that he fought against, the combo attack people, they are actual players. You know what I mean? Because, like, who can use the combo attacks right now? We can. Kirito can. Do you think that maybe Laughing Coffin members are in Dark Continent and they were using combo attacks against Berkeley? I don't know. I That's the only theory I can come up with right now. Bro's gonna ult immediately? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Let me show you the sword play of the Austria family. <laughs> Are you ready for this nuke? Yu-Gi-Oh, are you ready? You're about to get fucking nuked right now. Is Berkeley able to do the same shit? Damn. Let's go! I guess he just realized the name, huh? Berkeley. And at that point, you know what I would do if I was Yu-Gi-Oh? I'd be like, Look at the sword! Blue! Blue Rose Dragon, Dragon Cave, remember? Blue Rose Sword Cave, Berkeley, remember? And he'd be like, oh, oh, and then it would start coming on. I'd be like, <laughs> easy, fucking trash ass integrity in that. <laughs> you hear that? I hear time clock noises, like when Zawarudo happens. You hear that? <laughs> What the fuck just happened? Something to do with like time space manipulation? He sliced once and then it kind of existed there, right? And there's like a time effect and then it still existed. It's like basically my guess is this. I'm swinging once and if I was a regular sword user, you know, it's, 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 it's not going to do anything because like I strike once and it's gone. But him, he strikes. That strike exists. It keeps existing. Right? And I strike again, that strike exists. And if he comes to it, those will still be like projectile attacks because it just keeps existing. Does, does that make sense? Oh, no, oh, yeah, either that or Berkeley is playing on 900 ping right now. <laughs> Basically. Berkeley ping is either spiking or he can slash and the slashes will exist there until whenever he says it's gone. Yo. Imagine the possibilities of Sachi if she could handle... If she tra is Sachi trained under... <laughs> he mastered Sachi style, you think so? You think Berkeley took inspiration from Sachi, bro? Maybe, bro. The lag spikes are kind of working right now. System code. Generate luminous element. He's so cool. I love Berkeley. Bro is time traveling with the sword. It's like the slash exists and it can still exist into the future, you know? Because like, yes, he slashed, but it still existed a couple seconds after it was slashed. And it's kind of how it's thing there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No combo attacks. It just sounds like these integrity knights are all just like can only use one hotkey, right? They can't independently think. They're bound to these hotkey moves of, and every hotkey is just one attack. But us, we are sentient. Kirito is sentient. He can keep slashing, right? That's the difference between people who can't use combo attacks and people that can because these are fucking dumbass AIs. Now, Yuji obviously has learned from Kirito to get around that, but like those Dark Knights, man, they must be other existing people from perhaps even Aincrad arc. I hope some Laughing Coffin members are here. Like the other Death Gun guy or the other dude that we saw at the... It, it, the guy that was like the boss of the Death Gun guy as well, right? I, maybe? I don't know. You so he cut into the future. Bro's divine object is based off the fucking clock. 
That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> what is release memory recollection, bro? What the fuck is that? Is he literally gonna be Zawarado, bro? It's like, what? Okay. System clock. Yeah, pretty much like the in game built in fucking time system. So, could you assume. Now, Alice fucking caps. No, no, Alice said her tree is the oldest existing being in this world. But the system clock existed before this world. So, I guess this precedes that. Okay. You're good in long range, bro. What? What is that? I've never heard that call before. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's always been enhanced armament. I've never seen connect armament. Search archived memory, extra core, image convert, extra core. Is he about to add an extra fucking core of CP? What's going on right now? <laughs> But he must be ready, right? Because, like, if it's the fact that, like, he uses this and they're like, oh, shit, I'm ready to long-range counter now. He has a counter for that. You're literally playing into it. So he's going to show us another move that just directly counters long-ranges. I've never lost. Me too. He's so relaxed. Because I'm strong. You went easy before? There we go! So smart. So fucking smart. It's like tossing something up and distracting your opponent and running in. What are you going to focus on, right? And then the ice acts as a distraction and then basically a smoke screen. Projectiles! But it's still part of the plan? Hold up! Blue Rose Ice is dead? I don't know. We, I, no, we can recover this shit, right? We can recover. But okay, what now? Okay, okay. And now freeze him! Freeze him in the water! Oh, that's the real one! Oh! Extra core! He made another sword! Image convert! That was what that was! It was a fake ice ohm and he had the real one implanted at the top. Dude, the amount of strategy going on here from Yuju is crazy. End him! That's when he switched it. Dude. This is already a giga brain move of like having the ice come down as a distraction. Then it's just like, who are you gonna focus on, the ice or me? And he slashes the ice, then he uses these as like a smoke screen, but then he even slashes it as a projectile. And while doing that, he implants the sword above. Holy shit, dude, the swift of hand is insane. Slight of hand. Modern Warfare 2 perk, slight of hand. Freeze! Bankai! First time we're seeing this. First time we're ever seeing a release recollection from Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't wait to see Kirito's one as well. What is this gonna do? This bigger AoE freeze? What happened? What the fuck? Yeah, we know. Enhance armament and release. Yeah. いや、<笑> Right? Be because we confronted him on his memories. But it, it is actually insane how... We, like, the Eldria fight is still bizarre. Of, like, how the fuck do we survive that, right? But there was a lot of different things Eldria was doing that... We, I don't think he was going all out. And obviously confronting with the past memories. And then the Crimson Knight coming out to bail at the end. But crazy how we got away with that. Hmm? Too soon? Mm-hmm. 
記憶解放によって生み出先を覚えたばかりの剣士に制御できるものでは、ならばなおさらのこと。High level divine object like the blue rose sword. So, not only that, the divine object itself, it's a high level one. It's even harder to use the release, but fuck it, Yuji, o he's just yellowing. Yuji will be fine, right? I don't see him dying right now. Basically, just a higher degree of freeze, right? It, the release recollection. I thought it'd be something else, but it's just basically even more freeze. But right now, we've basically frozen ourselves. Did Kirito teach him? Yeah. Dude, the ice sound effects right now. Wait, 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 wait. No! We monologued. We monologued. Why did we monologue, bro? We should have just fucking cut his head off there. No, we can't kill him. Bro, we had. We had... Well, then again, Yuji's sword is literally frozen into the ground as well. So, all right, bro's gonna release his bunkai. Hey, you can't in it. Eternal life and rose. Okay. And the rose. Oh! Wait, 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 wait! Is that over? Okay, two separate. What the fuck? You just Bankai has two steps. So okay, what was it? There's a rose and the eternal eyes. We've seen eternal eyes so far, and the rose is gonna now bloom. <laughs> what? What did you say? Our life? Why not just his life? Why is Yuji's durability gotta go down? It's just leeching. <laughs> No, not like that, Yujiyo. This is sad and funny at the same time. You fucking boomer ass. You got less lifespan than me, so we're gonna both sap our life and see who's gonna die first. You're looking pretty good for 40, huh? Prime Zoomer versus the Boomer. Yeah, you did. Oh, it's time to confront him about his memories. Let's talk about the lore of Hero Berkeley now. Yep. But they're all brainwashed. Here we go. Like again, it's just funny whenever Yujiyo constantly refers him to us as human, but he does feel more human to me. I feel like, again, it's just, you know, the whole philosophical question of whether or not you think that an AI is human or not, right? And Kikuoka can never see them as human because he's never empathized and, you know, bonded with one. But Yujiro right now feels more human than any fucking, you know, AI or real... I don't know. He shows more human qualities than actual fucking humans, man. Right? Come on. <laughs> Tell him some stories. <laughs> like the dragon. <laughs> yeah. The blue rose sword, the dragon, bro. Oh, it's working? Yes. Here we go. I did kill the dragon. Berkeley did it. There is that legend. Why? Why did he do it? This is getting so emotional. Yeah, there's 31 motherfuckers like this too. Yeah. More lore. Tell him more lore. That's Cap. That's Cap. Oh, wait. He's being frozen. Are we? <sighs> How much of the lifespan has just been taken from you, Gio, man? Like, oh, this is so fucking bad, man. This is so bad, bro. I, I, was there really no other way to confront it? Like, I swear to God, we could have just frozen and just fucking like, confronted his memories and have him fucking stall. But like, fuck, this rose attack is just leeching the lifespan from both. <laughs> <laughs> what in the fuck is happening right now?
We just got a clown showing up. What, 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 what the fuck? During this emotional moment? <laughs> is he the Senate? Is he a jester of the court? What the fuck is this guy? <laughs> You're really ruining the moment right now, bro. Yuji <laughs> is about. Yuji is literally crying. Berkeley is like acknowledging like some passion and he's finally starting to believe the truth. It's so deep and emotional. And then this motherfucker shows up. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Getting a little sentimental, are we? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you the Prime Senate? You're Got it. Chudelkin, he's a fucking chud. But he's the Prime Senate. Why would the Prime Senator be wearing the Joker's clothing? Why the fuck does he look like a jester? He, the Prime Senator, bro? Isn't that supposed to be such a, such a insane, like, high prestigious role? He's just the captain of the fucking clown circus right now. Oh, Berkeley has no respect for the Senate, huh? He's only used this side. But the moment that he uses this side, it's over. No. What do you mean the other side of your time's play? What the fuck can he else do? If he's cutting into the future, can he cut into the past? Like, what are you talking about right now? Mm. There is no reason to be giving this angle, cameraman. What the fuck? Save this shit for the ladies. What are you doing giving me the fucking Prime Senator's fucking coochie angle right now? <laughs> Mm, that was all cap. That's right, it was all cap. Ooh. Is he strong? Reprocessed. I'm gonna assume that it's just more memory washing. Basically, <laughs> Berkeley's gonna go up there, they're gonna pick that shit out. And then as soon as it's, it's back, a new, new rod has been inserted, Pontifex will be like, Oh, great hero descending upon the heavens. I have just summoned you as Integrity Knight. That's what it means to be reprocessed, right? System core! Oh! ID 001! Integrator unit ID 001, I'm assuming, is the Integrity Knight 1, right? The ID is specific to Berkeley, right? <laughs> The Prime Senate got some OPS commands, huh? Bro Brooklyn just petrified him and just, he, he just, he just paused. And we just wasted our life for fucking nothing. Yuji just wasted so much of his lifespan for fucking no, no reason, bro. <laughs> no, it can't. You can't. Oh, dude, if you're... Yuji is going to be taken into and made into a fucking integrity night? No, don't cock me. That's fucked up. You're gonna make Kirito and fucking Yuji fight against each other? That's fucked up, bro. No. Are you serious? I'm still fucking climbing, man. I'm still <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. You scared to hide. You really in a situation to be saying this? You fraud. You didn't even cook. Your mom cooked, bro. You can't even cook for shit, Alice. Yeah. Did, did, does she have bento? Does Alice have bento ready for us right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the food at? Oh, princess. Your, snor your stomach. It's growling. <laughs> These scenes, bro. These scenes are why Alice just becomes a lot more, like, humanized, right? No, no more scary, just cute and funny. We got some food? We got some food? Oh my... Bro, he has been pulling out these fucking... <laughs> these dumplings out of his ass. Even before with Yu-Gi-Oh! Dude, how the fuck do you still have these meat buns? System code generate meat buns. 
Let's, let's heat him up. Let's heat him up. What? All right, all right. You got a lesser one then? Oh, a little bit of combination. Oh, triple. Wow, it's basically a microwave. It's basically an oven. Amazing. You bitch. Oh. All right, I think we've won her heart over. Anytime you share food with a girl in SAO, things usually go right. It all happened with Asuna, too. If Asuna was watching this shit, she'd be fuming. Yo, when the fuck is Asuna gonna show up? I guess Asuna's just not gonna show up in season one, huh? By season three. I, I still expect her to, like, link start. I think she has to go in, bro. One of, one of these days, bro, like, she has to fucking go in. <laughs> You mentioned Selka. Won't her thing come out? Hold the fuck up. Selka. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What's gonna happen? Are you sure it's a good idea? She's gonna be just like stun locked. Ooh. And that's today's episode of SAO. And dude, the battle between Yu-Gi-Oh! and Berkeley was fucking hype. Yu-Gi-Oh! bro finally releases his Bankai. But man, the strategy involved, that was so genius. Created a second core, basically copied his sword, right? You know, and then ice attack, smoke screen, you know, and, and then throw the sword up, copy, think it's broken, and then get him in the water and freeze, bro. This is so big brain. I love it. But remember, the savage powers of a release, it's dangerous, especially with the higher level divine object like the blue rose sword. Obviously, it comes with great consequences. And I think our lifespan, <sighs> I think the lifespan went down quite a bit. I don't know. And we finally meet the Prime Senator as well, and he's a fucking clown. Chud clown, bro. Just a little fat slob that has OP system calls, too. He just basically petrified uh, Berkeley because he has this, like, unit ID. And he sees potential in Yu-Gi-Oh, so maybe Yu-Gi-Oh is the next, you know, Integrity Knight. He'll probably be number 32, but would be interesting if they inserted him as, like, number one and has him as a new Berkeley, man. But... Is this really the bad ending? Like, we're supposed to save Alice, and right now we're with Alice, but now we got to save fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, man, and we're still fucking around, you know, climbing this thing. Next episode, hopefully we get up there, we'll figure something out, but fingers crossed for a good ending with Yu-Gi-Oh. But hey, if you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.